I remember last time I was with a group of church people doing some mission work in New Zealand. That was many, many years ago. And, and, and the grass was so green. I remember that one day I told them, hey, you got to stop the car. I must run on the, on the grass. I really, it's so green. I've never seen such greenery, you know. So I jump over the fence and I start running after the sheep. <laughs> I thought I'm a shepherd, you know. So I ran after the sheep only to realize all of a sudden, my goodness, all around me are dried up poo. <laughs> it was amazing. I mean, it's all around me. I had to tiptoe. It was, I'm not exaggerating, it was all around, it was all dried up, poo. But from the road, it was all green. <laughs> Until you're on the other side of the fence. Somebody's marriage always looks better. Somebody's life always seems more glamorous until you're on the other side. Let me just tell you something about jealousy. I learned this from the Lord in the 80s. When I was a very young man, he taught me this. I was preparing for my future. And I never heard anyone preach this, never read it in a book. The Lord taught me this. The Lord told me, generally, generally, son, jealousy is like this. People are not jealous of someone of a different sex, of a different occupation. You see, jealousy happens among people of the same sex, same occupation, about the same age. A male is not usually jealous of a female. A female is jealous of a female. A pastor is not jealous of a businessman. A businessman is not jealous of the pastor. A pastor is jealous of... <laughs> and a businessman is usually jealous of another... Amen. So the Lord taught me that to keep my heart free from jealousy. And I learned that a long time ago. That whenever I see someone about my age, my job, my profession experiencing success, I rejoice with them straight away. Amen. Because I'm, I'm aware that usually this is where it works. Jealousy is based on the premise that there's not enough in the universe. All right? That when, when someone gets blessed, oh, he got a nicer house, whatever, or, or, you know, we think that God blessed them at my expense. You see how small our thinking is of God? All right? God can bless you and a million others, and he has plenty more left over. Amen. This is our God. Amen. But jealousy is based on the premise, when somebody gets blessed, there's lesser for me. It's unbelief. Amen? And the Bible says that all of us are important, all right? We all don't have equal function, but we all have equal importance. We are all equally loved, although we should experience that love as if it's all for us, amen? But always remembering that God loves all of us, but we must experience the personal love of God, but that doesn't mean God loves others more than you or you more than others, amen? And there are times we need to remember that we are the body of Christ, and our life is not about I, me, myself. You are the body of Christ, and as the body is made of different organs and different functions, so likewise in 1 Corinthians 12, folks, if the foot should say, because I'm not a hand, I'm not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the ear should say, because I'm not an eye, I'm not of the body, is it therefore not of the body? If the whole body were an eye, where would, we, where would be the hearing? If the whole were hearing, where would be the smelling? Right, next. But now God has set the members, each one of them, in the body just as He pleased. If you are a children's church teacher, be happy. If you arrange, oh, uh, you don't arrange the chairs here. You wash the toilets or whatever, and you're doing it for Jesus, be happy. Amen. That's fulfillment. Hallelujah. All right? Just because you are, your function is the eye. People see the eye most of the time. They don't look at your neck. <laughs> They don't look at your forehead. Why, well, you got a very high forehead. Nah? They don't look at your, your nose, you know? People look at your eyes most of the time, right? The eye gets the attention. But the body, the body is not about the eye. It's also the hearing. So the eye cannot say to the ears, I have no need of you. Where would the eye be without the seeing? A guy woos a girl. He goes out with her, and he looks at her. Usually he looks at the eyes. He'll say things like, my goodness, you have such beautiful eyes. What is help? What's happening to me? I'm looking at Pastor Mark. You, know? <laughs> I, you, got, <laughs> you got such beautiful eyes. Right? He, he wants to woo her, right? Now, he doesn't go to her and say, 
Have you ever, has anyone ever told you you got sexy, waxy ears? <laughs> I, can, I can see it flowing out, man. It's... I tell you, Angelina Jolie never had ears like yours. Your, year, your ears are really out of this world, man. In fact, just now before we met, when you came out the corner, I saw your ears first. <laughs> you got very beautiful ears, I'm telling you. You know, you don't say that, isn't it? You see, it's the eyes, man. You know, when, when I dated my wife, I sent her flowers with the words, those eyes made me do it. It worked, huh? She couldn't resist it, man. I never said, those years really got me, right? But let me tell you this, the hearing is just as important. Can I have a good amen? amen. See, all of us, we have different functions, but we are equally important. Amen. All right, drop down, verse 21, and the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you, nor again the head to the feet. The head telling the feet, I have no need of you. The feet say, okay, you're going nowhere. Yeah, people usually look at your head, not your feet, but without your feet, you're going nowhere. Ever see a head floating along? <laughs> so the, the head cannot tell the feet, I have no need of you. So some of us are feet, we travel, we move a lot. Amen? Some of us are head, we think a lot. Intelligent people like Pastor Mark. He's always thinking, analyzing, deducing. Some of us are the eye. Some of us are the ears. You see, when the head tells the feet, I have no need of you, that is superiority complex. All right? Then there, there is the eye cannot say to the hand, I have no need of you. All this superiority complex. Just now you read, all right? If the hearing, look at the eye, I'm not the eye. Does that mean that he's not part of the body? That's inferiority complex. Someone who is a, a hearing ministry, but he said, well, you know, I'm not the eye ministry, so is he not part of the body? Amen? Now, the Bible says, no, much rather those members of the body which seem to be weaker are necessary. Those bodies seem to be weaker are necessary. And those members of the body which we think to be less honorable, on this we bestow great on, greater honor. And our unpresentable parts have greater modesty. Next verse. God composed the body, having given greater honor to that part which lacks it. The last line says that the members should have the same care for one another. So God gives greater honor to that part that's not revealed. Let me explain. Again, you go on a date. You look at the girl's eyes. You don't tell her, wow, look in your eyes, huh? Wow, you got a very nice liver, you know. Do you know you got a very nice liver, you know? You don't say you're a very nice liver, right? You see, you got beautiful eyes. But do you know that if you put down the eyes, they say, my goodness, your eyes are jaundiced. Your liver is something wrong, all right? And that's true, isn't it? Is that true? That the girl will not have beautiful sparkling eyes if the liver is bad. But no one says, well, you got a good liver. You know, one thing I love about you is your liver. You don't say that. When we get married one day, we'll call our first son Oliver. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> you come home from your date, your mom says, so how, 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 how's the girl? Well, mom, I tell you something. Her liver, what tops are her liver. Her liver is number one. You don't say that. The mom, I love her, love her eyes, amen? You don't show your mom a photo of, your mom say, what's this? It's a feet. Yeah, man, I love the feet. No, you show the head, isn't it? So no doubt, no doubt, sometimes things that are prominent draw the attention, right? But without the liver, I'm telling you something, okay? Without your eyes, you still can live. Without your liver, you cannot. So God puts greater honor on those parts that seems to be unrecognized, unseen. No way Pastor Prince can stand down here without a great help that is going on behind the scenes. Amen. You, you can stop trying to be, 
be somebody you are not and rest in Christ, who you are in Christ. Hi, thanks for watching. If you are blessed by this video, let us know by liking it and leaving a comment below. And if you know someone who will be encouraged by this message, please share it with them. Feel free to subscribe to get more inspirational content like this every week. I'll see you in the next video.